Oh my god, she's not dying, is she? <laughs> For Christ's sake, Chantel! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to The Sims 4 Horse Ranch with Shanice Shanice Chantal Chantel and Feisty Flange. We have got up nice and early today. That's because I want to get a lot done. Oh wow, look at that banana plant. <laughs> Already this tree has grown absolutely huge. Wasn't expecting that. Oh look, today is also National Lottery Day. Does that mean we could potentially earn some money? We can get a lottery ticket on our phone. It costs 100 simoleons. That is so much money. <laughs> okay, sh I feel like Shanice Shanice is luckier than Chantel, so I think we should get Shanice to buy a lottery ticket. Chantel, we're giving a miss, just in case, because I don't want to lose all of our money. Because we really need to buy a fridge, because it will honestly change our lives so much. Or we'll be eating this bloody priory grass with the horse. So, oh look, we can harvest all the plantains. Harvest all the sage. Okay, this is actually going very well. We're already off on a great start. Although Chantel's immediately giving up on work, because she's playing the guitar to sing some country music. Apparently, when you get the mini goats and sheep, they'll like dance along with you when you play the guitar, which sounds really cute. Obviously, we can't afford one yet. Shanice is, oh, Shanice is roasting marshmallows at nine o'clock in the morning. Though at least it's raising up her hunger need. Also, I forgot to do it, but there is a community board that you can actually buy. I'm praying we can afford it. We can, oh, it's only a hundred simoleons. Want to pop it? Should we pop it by the entrance? Maybe just over here. So on here, you can actually do odd jobs, which will earn you a little bit of money. Community jobs. The only one we can do though is train a neighbor's horse at 95 to 225 simoleons depending on your horse riding skill. We actually, do we even have a horse riding skill? We don't have any horse riding skill points so I feel like that's not really going to be viable but that's there for the future. Is there anything Chantal Chantal can do because she has a gardening skill? No she doesn't, that is a shame. So luckily these gardening patches are only 10 simoleons so we can just about afford two more although I really want to make this bigger. Is that going to screw everything up with our money. Now we're literally at less than 100 simoleons. We're in a worse state than we were last episode. I don't know if we're going to be able to pull ourselves out of it. I hope we can. Maybe if we grow some more bell peppers just in one of them and another one, maybe we could grow some more taro roots just so we can keep it all going. We also only have three more days left of summer. Mm, guys, do you know what I'm going to do in the options? I think it would be great to change the season length to maybe 14 in-game days. I changed the lunar cycle to 16 days as well, just so we can spend a little bit more time in the same season. God, our horse is constantly sleeping in the day. You need to stop sleeping, please, feisty flange. We still haven't got this horse to play on his little ball, and I really want him to play on the ball, but he's just refusing. Oh, look, he's clipping through Shanice, lovely. <laughs> Can you actually get them to like stand over each other? I think, oh my God, the horse is weeing. <laughs> we almost got in the horse's wee then. Let's quickly mop that up. That's not very nice. That's a little bit weird to mop up the grass, isn't it? Every single time I see a little bit of horse poo, I'm just picking it straight up. Although apparently she can't get to it. Why, what if I move it over here? Why couldn't you get to that poo, Chantal Chantel? That was so weird of you. Every time we get poo, I'm just gonna fertilize a random plant just so we can make our plants worth a lot more money. Oh, we're getting a call off Danny de Villa. Hey, I have a crush on Francine Spencer. Is it worth a try? I'm gonna say I don't think it's a good idea because I haven't met this Francine. I haven't even met you really properly either, apart from five minutes when you join the welcome wagon. I do feel like we need to make some more friends, but more importantly, some more money. Oh, Shanice found some priory grass and nectar. She literally found wine made out of grass, so that's lovely. Although I'm gonna pop all of the other things she found in Chantal's inventory because we're gonna send her over to the shop to sell it. But for now, Shanice, Shanice, I'd love to see you get drunk. So why don't we drink this from the bottle? She's uncomfortable for some reason and maybe the drink will just drown her sorrows. She's looking in the bottle like, this is all I got left. <laughs> Where's she going? Where are you going, Shanice? Oh, she's popped it on the side. I think we should drink some more. I know it's only four o'clock in the afternoon, but you are British. So why don't we just have another one? Come on, Shanice. Get all that drink down, yeah? Gosh, now she's gonna wet herself. What a bloody nightmare. She's broken the seal. Do people say that in other countries? in the UK when you like drink too much to the point where like you constantly need a way. We call it breaking the seal. I don't know if anybody else says that. I mean, I think Shanice, we should just have another little drink. Come on, you've had a hard life. I've killed you so many times in the past. I think it'd be nice to do something good with yourself. There we go. 
Drown your sorrows. Beautiful. I'm ruining the moment to take a screenshot. I'm sorry. <laughs> Love that for you, Shanice. Perfect little screenshot for me as well. Thank you for your service. I love how it, because her eyes are so big, they're still open. Well, did you have a nice nap, Shanice? Although she's feeling so tired now. Oh my gosh, she's got no energy. We better take a nap. She's hung over. I'm sorry for torturing you like that, Shanice. I hope you had a good time with your booze. You can see she's dazed as well from too much drinking. So I love that. Okay, in the meantime, Chantel, I think it would be very wise of you to find this rabbit hole shop somewhere. I just want to sell some items again, see what we can get. We've got a lot of stuff this time. Hopefully we can make a little bit more money. Seeming that we've only lost money so far. 133 simoleons. Do you know what? Better than nothing. I'm actually thinking, Chantel, whilst we've got you here, we're going to head over to the top area of the map. Should we bring Feisty Flange along? We're going to do some fishing. Also, I'm thinking of converting this top empty residential lot into a community lot in this save, just so that we can have more to do in the world. If you guys have any ideas on what we can do, you let me know. Actually, first, before we go fishing, Let's look for frogs because I know we can sell them. That'd be rather easy. Looks like our friend from the welcome wagon is here. So I think it would be a nice idea to fish with him. Then we can raise up our friendship with him. Although I think Chantal, she's not going to do it, is she? It's going to glitch out. Is he going to come? No, she's fishing alone. What a shame. Our horse, on the other hand, is having such a cute... Oh my God, he's being so cute. He's just chilling. Not sure what he's doing. Eating all the grass. Pleasing himself. Oh my God, that sounded... <laughs> Pleasing himself. I didn't mean it like that. Just meant that he's having a good time. That was all. <laughs> Please don't interpret that the wrong way. Oh look, here's this guy. Now he's coming. Have you come to fish with me, sir? It's taking you about three hours. It's 9pm. Hello there. We didn't find a fish, but we found a rose. I mean, it's 29 simoleons. <laughs> And I'm trying to have a chat with this guy's fishing, but it keeps glitching out, unfortunately. Oh, at least we got a bit more horse poo out of this. It wasn't totally wasted. We've got a rose and we got some horse poo to use as fertilizer. So that's always good. Chantal and Shanice constantly uncomfortable from unbalanced meals. They're probably going to gain weight soon because they're just eating cereal and yogurt all the time. Oh, lottery was successful. Shanice had a wonderful time. Got to do everything she planned. Lovely. But how much money did she win? Chantal, it was awful because she didn't take place. I think we find out our winnings tomorrow. I can't remember. I'm just getting Chantal to harvest some plants. Hopefully we can barbecue ourselves a breakfast today instead of just having cereal. Or we can grill plantains. So we can have, I mean, plantains are kind of savory. They're not sweet. They're like in between. Kind of tastes like potatoes. So I, I guess that's like a normalish breakfast. Come on, Shanice, grab yourself a serving. I love how she's putting the dirty plates up here <laughs> as if nobody would notice. I mean, look, our breakfast is a little bit better this time. We're having like a proper meal, something unprocessed. Girls, don't leave your dirty plates on the floor, please. Pick them up. Don't be messy. So yeah, I think I'm going to keep some plantains on our inventory when we can get them. Oh, look, we got a metal. Shanice, where did you get that metal from? I have no idea. Thank you for getting it. So we can sell that. Oh, the lottery results are in. Looks like we didn't win anything. So that was a waste of 100 simoleons. So for the sake of being a good neighbor, I'm going over to the Grove family household. I'll Let's bring Feisty Flange along. What I want to do, I know it's a bit morbid, but I think we should steal the husband so we can get half of his money. I think that will make a very big difference to our ranch. Bit unethical. I know. Oh, look, Feisty Flange can make a friend. How lovely. Oh, no, there's kids in the family and we're bloody breaking up the household. I feel so bad, but I also feel so good. You do what you got to do. They said come in. I don't know where they are. Are they even in the house? Nobody's in here. Where are they? It's just me alone in this house. Oh, is that them outside? It is is hello sir we we'll speak with the wife just to be nice although we will be a little bit mean to her we'll um insult her house that sounds lovely we need to break them up somehow oh i love how the horses are sniffing each other isn't that little cute this horse is oh my god why have you got a bloody pink heart on your buttocks so i'm gonna do the good old asking to cloud gaze with this guy to cheat our relationship up without cheating because it is a very op way of doing so so there we go it's rising up very very nicely Love that EA still haven't fixed this because they did fix the photo trick. So you can't actually gain a relationship from that anymore. Also, whilst I'm here, sir, I'm terribly sorry, but I'm actually... First thing I'm going to use your toilet. But Shanice hasn't had a shower once in this Let's Play. So I'm just going to take a little shower. I'm sorry, but it needs to be done. We're probably going to get kicked out now for being inappropriate. So we made a good mark at our relationship.
it. I would like to take him on a date eventually. Meanwhile, I did actually find a fishing spot in our world, which is great. So we can get Chantal there. Oh, look, Amber Grove is there too. And a man in short shorts, Carlo Dye. Oh my God, sir, you are the biggest ick I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, not, and now he's playing with a bloody lump of clay. He really is an ick. Oh, look, our horse has reached temperament level five. That's really good. Just chilling by himself. Such a good horse, Feisty Flange. Love you. Oh my God, Chantal just caught a digital sketch pad. What? <laughs> How on earth? did you catch that Chantel? That can sell for 750. My gosh, we are in for a killing now. Screw the fish. We don't need bloody fish anymore. I'm going to look for some frogs in the frog pond whilst we're here. And then I know it's 9 p.m. I'm hoping the shop is still open. I don't know if EA coded in like opening and closing time for the shop because we really need to sell stuff. Now, is the shop open? Oh, it is open. That's useful. A 24 hour shop in a deserted Western town, not immersion breaking at all. Don't care though, it's very useful. Although she's gone out of it. What, why has she gone to get water? Come back, please. Oh no. Okay, now it's shut. It shuts at 10 p.m. We literally just missed it. Not to worry, it's still late at night. Feisty Flange is in the house. And I believe it would be very nice for Shanice Shanice to head on to Social Bunny. Add this Umber Grove to our contact list. I think it would be nice to just, okay, first send him a friendly message. Umber, we should get together and hang out sometime soon. He hasn't replied, but we're going to be a bunny boiler and send another friendly message because it will raise our friendship level very high very fast. Amber, what's up buddy? Amber, I'm so happy to have a friend like you. She's been such a buddy boiler. <laughs> Should we do a new post as well? A happy narrative post. Lovely. Something nice on our feed. And then we're just sending him a couple of cheeky flirty messages as well. By a couple, I mean tons. This is the most OP way in the entire game of raising up friendship and raising up romance. If you do own high school years, it is very good in that way. So whilst the horse is chilling in our house. Oh, oh my God. Did you just see? <laughs> Did you just see what happened with the horse? I'm going to have to replay that. <laughs> What the hell just happened there? Bloody hell, I didn't even mention this in my brutally honest review with the bugs and glitches, but I should have. The bloody par thing. <laughs> that, honestly, it was like the horse was possessed. <laughs> that was creepy. So it looks like the horse took piss on our flooring in the middle of the night, so we should clean that up. And I think we should have some more. Can we have some? There we go. We'll have some more grilled plantains for breakfast. Oh, I love the little barbecue here. I do love the coal underneath it. Looks quite realistic, doesn't it? Although, oh my God, a shard off oh, a Christ's sake, Chantal, you started a fire. Oh, for, oh my God, now she's on fire. Chantal, for Christ's sake. Right, Shanice is putting out the fire. Thank God for that. Oh my God, what a nightmare. <laughs> oh my God, Chantal, will you just put yourself out, please? Oh my God, oh my God, now she's bloody singeing. For Christ's sake. This is an, oh my God, she's not dying, is she? <laughs> for Christ's sake, Chantal. You're supposed to be our gardener and you've just died. Ugh. Oh, for Christ's sake. At least we received a bit of money and bloody insurance, although now she's He's dead. <laughs> Chantal's dead for Christ's sake. It's only episode two. I was not expecting that. Even the horse is disappointed in you, Chantal. For Christ's sake. Absolutely devoted. Oh, we're not even that far into the bloody let's play. We've already got an urn. I'm so disappointed in you, Chantal. I didn't think about putting a graveyard in our ranch, but um, <laughs> I'll put your grave outside of the toilet shack for now, Chantal. But soon we're going to have to, <laughs> I think we're going to have to make a little grave yard for our lot. The horse is sad as well. Oh, I can't deal with this. I can't deal with it. <laughs> Wait, what happened to the stuff in her inventory? We had loads of harvestables. Chantal couldn't care less about your life. What about all the stuff that was in your inventory? Oh, it's in our family inventory. Thank God. Don't mind the death. We have little herbs and fruits and vegetables and frogs to sell. Much more important than your life, Chantal. Though at least we did get a little bit of money from the insurance. It's just we've temporarily lost a barbecue. So it looks like it's back to eating cereal and yogurt. At least we have one less mouth to feed. Although, oh, the horse is standing by the grave. That's actually really cute. I mean, Shanice, Shanice hates her horrid half-sister, so I'm not sure why she's sad. She's dead. I'm a little bit confused. Shanice now has developed a fear of fire as well. I mean, it makes sense because her sister just bloody died in one. So I know your sister's dead. Love that for you. But we do have a little bit of gardening to do. We've just got some harvestables to collect. Although Shanice has never done gardening in her life. So this is going to be a spot of bother. Can't believe that happened. Oh, look, the horse is coming here. The horse is so sad. Oh, that's actually really cute. 
Should we give the horse a hug? Stop trampling on my plants, please. Our well, Umber Grove is giving us a call. What does he have to say? Hey, Shanice, I feel like trying something new and exciting, something like a change in career. I'm just going to ignore it because our sister literally just died. That was a bit insensitive of him. Right, Shanice, I know you want to cry in bed, but we've got things to sell. I mean, really, we should be angry with Chantal Chantal. She's the one who got us in this mess with her botched boob job. She's the one who lost all of our money, so we had to move to a ranch. And now she bloody died and left us with all of the mess. Somebody tell me if there's a quicker way than just clicking through all of these things to sell them. Oh my god, we got 40 bell peppers. Bloody hell. I know I could just sell it through the inventory, but it's I want to make this realistic, okay? So we've made a total of 352 simoleons, which is great, but we couldn't sell the iPad. So what I think we're going to have to do is set up a yard sale when we can. The cheapest sales table is the Salvadorian one from Jungle Adventure. Doesn't suit the vibe at all. Oh, I guess this this one suits the vibe in this swatch. So I'm thinking of popping this here on the lot and then we can just sell a couple of things from it. Though, oh my god, the game is saying there's nothing to stock from the inventory. So we can't put, okay, I thought we could sell these things on it, but we can't. That is a spot of bother. And oh my god, I think the horse pissed itself in our house. Well, not our house, our stable. I mean, what we could do at the least, okay, all of these random books that Shanice keeps autonomously reading, apart from the useful ones such as gardening, I'm actually thinking thinking we sell all the other ones on the stand. I mean, Shanice is illiterate, so it would make sense that she can't read any books. Although, oh no, my God, we can't stock the table with them. So if you guys have an idea of how we can sell all this stuff in our inventory without doing it directly here, let me know. Other than that, like this has been like a bit of a traumatic time. <laughs> I can't believe our sister died. At least this Umber man, we found somebody who's gonna be our brand new boyfriend. We sent him a sad text just so he knows what's going on. And then next episode, we're gonna to try woohoo with him which will be fun also if you have any suggestions please let me know otherwise thank you very much for watching this sad episode <laughs> i will see you in the next one